Okay, we're doing the Sech Sota for the people who have not uh, arrived yet, but who are arriving for the first time today. Um, and uh, zing, yeah. And uh, so one of the things we saw was that since the Reglayim Ledavar, if you would have Adim that she was warned and Adim or even aid according to Rabbi Eliezer that she was told not, that was behind closed doors, one aide would be believed to say that what that she in fact had had uh, given in to to uh, had been mizane, and as a result she would not drink what from the meimorim. So we're picking it up in a mishnah. The mishnah is on daf lamed aleph, and the mishnah is explaining that you know th this concept. So let's uh, we're over here on on uh, we're over, over here on gimel amid gimel amid base gimel amid base. Tan Hassan, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, about fourteen lines up. Tan Hassan. We learned in the Mishnah over there in Masechta in in Masechta Saita Daf Lamed Aleph. Tan Hassan Shahay Bedin, right? It should make sense that one aid should be believed to stop them from drinking. Uma Edus Harishayna, the first set of Edim. Shein Ois Rasa Is Oilam. The first set of Adim on Kino or on the Stira are not going to ask her. Under the Kino, if you have two Adim that he warned her, they're not going to ask her. Right? Adim is Kayem, is Pachas Mishnayim. It's not what? There's less than two. Adis Achreina, the latter Adis, Shaisrasa is the Oilam, which would ask her, Ain Adin, Shalait is Kayem, Pachas Mishnayim. In other words, it doesn't make sense to say that the final Adis that's going to ask her on her husband forever. Should be less than two. Why? Because initially, when we begin, initially when we begin, and we say the that puts the ball in motion of the Isha Sota, you need two. And those Adim of the Kino do not go ahead and answer. Nonetheless, you need two. So certainly, when the Adim that are going to finalize the relationship between the two, you should need two. Hamid Laimar, it says the Aid Ain Ba, right? What does the Aid Ain Ba mean? There's not two. But there's one. That was the opening of the Masechta, correct? The eight ain't ba doesn't mean there's no Adim at all. It means there's not two Adim, but there is one eight. And why does it say the Hila and his Pasa and the she's what? Us and her husband. So I have a Pasik to tell me, don't think you need two for the Tumma, one would do the job. Now, the Kalvach of eight ain't ba, Kol Shayeshba. The Kalvachimala Aid is a Rishon. And now let's go back the other way. If you're going to tell me to Asa forever, one is enough. Even to initiate the process, one should be enough, and you should need two. Good. Says the Gemara, that the Edis Rishayna also one should do the job. Meata, Uma Edis Achroina, the last set of Edim, the Edim on the Tuma. Shasras is the Olam, will go ahead and Asra forever. Miskayemis Veid Echad, it's fulfilled, you only need one. Edis Rishayna, the initial Edim. Which would not ask her forever in her husband. So Tamad Laim, it says, It says, regarding by a get, it says, It says, By two Adem or three Adem, I think by even my capital punishment, it says two or three. Right. Now, so says the Gemara, it's mashma. You know the way you know you need two initially is because of we learn And it says, and it says Just like is two and says Dover. So to is two. Kasha. Right, says the okay. We have a good kasha, guys. We began the mesechta with the following diuk. How do you know? Let's see, let's go. To, let's take shitas Rebbe Yeshua. Remember, there's there's three three things. There's tuma, there's stira, and there's kinoi. Said tuma, the aid ain't ba. There's not two on the tuma. There's only one. So what was the inference? Ba. By the tuma, there is not two, there's one, but by ba by the stira, ba by the kinoi, there's two. Fred the Gemara, 
Why are you telling me I'm learning two on the kinu from the fact that it says dover dover? Even when I'm not learning it from that, I'm learning it from the soita pasha itself. I don't have to come onto externally mudim from the pasha itself. But by tuma, the third thing, then one is enough. But only there. But by the other, the kino, you need two. So why do you have to come out to dava dava? As I fed the Gemara. And for the Gemara, hachinami, you're right. Hachinami, come Hamadai ma ba, ba, dafka by tuma, ba is one. Vilay be kino, because kino, you need two. Ba, by tuma is one. Vilay be stira. Ah, now, why is this unique? Because why is one believed over here is only because you have kino and stira. The tuma ba'alma, however, in a regular situation, without the husband warning, without anyone going and seeing about her client's doors, but people actually seeing her being involved in an in, in act of bia, ba'alma bulaikina bulay stira, dlamihimna eid echad. He's not believed, right? Minalun, how do you know that? Nema kan ki matzaba eras dava, venema lahalan apishnaim edim, apishlesh edim yakum dava, ma dava amal lahalan edim shnaim, afkan edim shnaim. So initially we thought, guys, the Dava Dava is coming to teach me a din in Saita. It's coming to teach me uh, that by the eight by tum by Saita, only the tum is one. Masha'en Kane Mat, Dava Dava by Ki 92. Fred Gemara, why do you need the limit of of what of, of Dava Dava? The ba itself would go ahead and do the job, right? Ba dafka by tuma of Saita is one, the others two. Says the Gemara, you're right. The Dava Dava is not speaking about Isha Saita. The Dava Tava is come to tell me the universal din, the regular din. In order to go ahead and, and, and say a woman is, is Asr, you know, one A would not be enough. You need two. By, I, by Saita, one is believed. We had the Raglai and the Dava of the Kina of Isthira that goes ahead and creates that. Okay, the Gemara is uh, now going to go into a very interesting, interesting uh, din. The Gemara is going to go ahead. Well, we'll, we'll see it in a second. Tan Rabban, Ezehi Edus Rishayna. What is the Edus Rishayna? Zu Edus Stira. That's the Edus of, of being behind closed doors. Edus Achrayna, Zu Edus Tuma. Now, the Kama Shear Stira. What is the Shear of Stira? What is the Shear of being behind closed doors? So I give you the following. Sorry, it's a little... I, I did this very quickly. <laughs> Rabbi Ishmael. Shita's Rabbi Ishmael is this. We have two prices. The first price that says the shear of uh, the shear of Tuma guys is Kadei Hara. You might recall the Masechta Yevamis. What's the time? What, what's the what's the shear of Erva when the shear of Hara? This, let's go to two shearim Hara. And Gemar Bir. Gemar Bir is, is total penetration. What is, is Hara? We had a Machloikis, where there was Nashikas Aver, if the man's Aver touches the woman's area, or you would need Achnasas Atara, actually the tip of the Aver going in. So we said Nashikas Aver, that was the Psak. So now, what is the share of Hara? How do you go ahead and, in terms of time, how do you visualize that? So we have a multitude of Shitas. The first one is Rabbi Shmuel. It says the time it takes to walk around a normal sized palm tree. Rabbi Eliezer says the time it says to go ahead and dilute a course of, 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 of a, a quarter of a, of a leg of wine with water. Rabbi Yeshua says the time it takes to drink a quarter of a leg. Ben Azai says the time it takes to roast an egg. Rabbi Akiva says the time it takes to go ahead what? To a legmoya, but to swallow an egg that was roasted. Rabbi Huda and says, the time it takes to go ahead and swallow three eggs. Rabbi Lezben ben Yirmiya says, the time it takes to go ahead and to tie the, the string of a, wee, of, a, of, of some, a weaving. And, and, and Rabbi Hanan ben Pincha says, the time it takes to go ahead, stick your hand in your mouth and take out a, a splinter that's stuck in your teeth. And Flimoy says, the time it takes to go ahead wide and take out a piece of, of, of bread from a basket. Those are all different shitas. And the Gemara is going to say each one is basing it upon their own personal experience. The problem is that the we have a Baisa that it was a stira that goes ahead and it's it's Saiser, this one. We have a Baisa, for example, 
Yes, in the first price, uh, it says the time to go ahead and dilute a cup. In the second price, it's going to say the time it takes to for a decal to return. The half a mean of the Gemara is going to be that Hakafis decal walking around the tree and Chazaris decal, the te- decal returning, are the same shear. So if that's the case, we're going to see the Gemara. According to Rabbi Yeshua, he says for himself, here he says the time it takes to drink a diluted cup. Here he says the time to go ahead to dilute the cup and drink it. Over here he says the shear of roasting an egg. And as I says, the shear it takes to drink, to drink a, a drink an egg. Rabbi Kiva says, right? And each one is going to be have a stira mine obe. So we're going to list these shiurim, and then the Gemara is going to go through the stiras between the two, and then we're going to end up with some type of understanding of this very interesting daf. Okay? So basically, that's the, the foreshadow of what we're about to do. Says the Gemara. The Kama Shir Stira, Kidei Tuma, Kidei Bia, Kidei Hara. The Gemara is going to ask, why do you need to tell me all those Lashinas, right? Just tell me one. What's your Shiurim? Kidei Tuma, Kidei Bia, Kidei Hara, Kidei Hakafis Dekel. Dib Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Shmuel says it's a time of walking around. Christ who says a normal sized tree. Rabbi Yezo Aimer, Kidei Mezigas Kais. Time it takes to go ahead and dilute a cup. Rabbi Yeshua Aimer, Kidei Lishtaisai to drink it. And as I am, Kidei Litzlis to roast an egg. The time it takes to go ahead right, and, and suck the egg out. Three. To go ahead and tie the thread from a weaving at the ed- ed- edges of the woven material. Let's say she has a, some type of splinter or toothpick stuck between a tooth to take your hand in your mouth. And take that out. Stick your hand in a basket to take out a loaf of bread. And that for 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 uh, pshat, it says ad isha ad kiker lechem. For be ad isha zayna is ad kiker lechem. So you see the the comparison that uh, isha zayna to uh, to uh, to a kiker lechem. The Gemara will discuss this a little later on. We initiated the Gemara guys with a few lishonis. Kedai Tuma, Kedai Bia, Kedai Ara. Why do you need such an elaborate lush, lushen? What's each one teaching me? So Tzricha. The Tana Kedai Tuma. If you would just say Kedai Tuma, Hava Mina, Kedai Tumasa, Barat Soisa. I would say the time it takes for what? Be behind closed doors. is not only the act of Bia, but Art Soisa, the, the, the talking her into it, which is, a, you know, which is longer as mine. You have to first talk her into it and then actually act upon it. Hamash Mulan, Kedai Bia. Only the act itself. And now what? The... The, the 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 talking or leading up to the act. Big tana kadei bia. If you learn kadei bia, have amina kadei gemar bia. I might think you need a complete bia as opposed to hara. Kamash mon kadei hara. The initial the initial uh, part of bia. Biash mina kadei hara. Just that. Have amina kadei hara. Bart soisa. I would say it means hara and 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 talking her into it. Kamash mon kadei tuma. Right, and and that's doing away with just the act of tuma, which is hara. The kama kadei hara. That's the time it takes to walk around a decal tree. And now we're going to bring in the different sheetas and we're going to see the, the, the stira. Okay, Urimina, I'll ask you a stira. It says, Venistira, the Kamashir stira, I don't know what the, stira, the share of stira is. How long does she have to be behind closed doors that she be also her husband? When it says the time it takes for Tuma, Tuma, now, notice the word Chazaris Dekel. This is a change. The first lesson was Hakafas Dekel, and this is Chazaris Dekel. So now you have, I'm going to put the chart up there just to have it, and we'll be able to go ahead and, and uh, refer to it. So the first price, Chazaris Dekel, and Rebeliezer says, Chazaris Dekel. Right there is one problem. In the first, he says, the first, he says, Chazaris Dekel. Here he's saying, Chazaris Dekel. Rabbi Yeshua Aimer, Kedei Mezigas Akais. Okay, is Rabbi Yeshua consistent? Well, here he says to drink the cup. Here he says to go ahead, what? To go ahead and, and, and dilute the cup. Ben Azay Yomi Kedei Lishtai Soi. Ben Azay is saying to drink. That's different. The first one he said to roast an egg. Rabbi Yekiva Yomi Kedei Litzlai Spetsa. He's not consistent. Rabbi Yekiva said in the first one to suck it out. And here he's saying, what? Well, to, to go ahead and, and roast it. Rabbi Yehuda Ben Maseira Aimekadei Legoima. Rabbi Yehuda Maseira says to swallow. 
Over here, he says to swallow. And before he said three eggs, now, now going back to the kasha, so you have a stira over what in Rebbe Eliezer says the Gemara. Hasam Amar Rabbi Yisshul Kedei Hakaf is Dekel who pligi Rebbe Eliezer leha. Hach Amar Rebbe Eliezer Kedei Chazar is Dekel. So this is the same shear, fellows. Looking at the chart, the Hakaf is Dekel and Chazar is Dekel are the same, right? Over here he argued, and over here he apparently is agreeing. That's the problem. Over here he argued. Over there he's, he's, he's apparently is agreeing. So Amar Abaya Hakaf Beregel Chazar Beruach. It, don't you mistake me? There are two different sheep, these guys. A kafas dekel means the person physically is walking around the tree. Hazdar's dekel is when the wind blows the branches and the branches, after they, they after the wind blows them and they take, they sway, time it takes to come back. That's so it's two different shiurim. Therefore, it's not shver and Rebbe Eliezer. So, boy Ravashi, Chazor Baruach ki hechid the ozl vahadar, Asi, Aidilma ki hechid the ozl vahasi. In other words, let's picture a palm tree. The wind blows it, the palm sways, and then the wind stops and it comes back, but it's still shaking. Or do we have to wait to the shear where it's, you have to finish shaking, it goes back and stops, stops in its place, period. So that's the shear. Is it the shaking coming back, returning from that place, but it's still moving or no, even not moving? And the Gemara answer is Teku. Pasam Amrebel, the name is Igas Kais. So in other words, good, you answered up, guys, Hakaf is Dekel and Chazar is Dekel, that he that he, he wasn't that he wasn't he was arguing because it's two different shiurim. But now Rebelez himself is a steer in Rebeliezer. Here he says, going ahead and, and diluting a cup, and here he's saying the shear of the, the palm swaying. And for the Gemara Ivi it's the same shear. This shear and this shear is the same shear. So here Rebbe Yeshua said. In order to drink the cup, and there he said, "Go ahead, Rod, and then with the cup." Says, "Don't say to go ahead and dilute. Include velishtois and to drink." Who won't say it's the same share? Says in Cain, "Hein Rebbe If this would be the same share, then he would not be arguing on Rebbe Eleza. It would be mezigas kais. Benazai is saying to roast an egg, and Hachama to go ahead and, and suck it out. So it's the same time. So Hachama says to, to swallow. So again, he says over here the Vikiva. He says and sluya, and he says, okay. So my answer is Okay, so now basically it's saying the same thing. To roast an egg and to swallow it. That's the same shear, then it's the same shear of Litz's space, so that's the same as Ben Azai. Says the Mara Hassam, Hassam Am Rabbi Yeshua Ben Beseira over there, the Rabbi Yeshua Ben Beseira says, You have on the chart in front of you, he says, Three Beitzim. Says the Gemara, Lidvor or Derby Kiva Kama. He's answering the words Rabbi Akiva. Right, that you, Rabbi Akiva, say that you need like me and sluya. I say in another. I don't say you need sluya. It will be enough just to go ahead and swallow. I really hold three in a row. But you say, you who say roasting and swallowing, I hold enough according to you the swallowing. Okay, that's basically what we just said. Okay, so now the Gemara is going to. We did this. We're going to go back. Says Gemara, Rav Ezra Yemi Yama Kedei Sheyikshar Garde Nima. You can tie something together. Says Gemara, Boy Ravashi, the Merachek or the Mekarev. In other words, you're tying it together. Is it a distance apart or is it close together? Obviously, if the strings are close together, you'd be able to go ahead and 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 tie it quicker than that. And then these different shiurim. So, what, which one is it? Gemara says, Takeu. Chanan ben Pinchas Leimer Kedei Shetoishi Yad La Teich Pia. The time it takes to go ahead and take a, a, a splinter, literally a toothpick, out of your mouth. Boy Ravashi, the Mahadek or the Mahadek, is the toothpick, is it embedded or not? If it's embedded, it's going to take a longer time. The time it takes to go ahead, stick your hand in a, a basket to remove a loaf of bread. Boy Ravashi, the Mahadek or the Mahadek. 
is it is it is it, is it gestupt in the in the in the sal or not? Bechadita, is it new? I guess new might be a little harder to grasp because it's more slippery. Bechamima, if it's hot, or bechira, is it cold or is it hot on the base? Bechiti, is it made of wheat? I bet sorry, is it made of of um, barley? Wheat being uh, more chalak, so it, it would be, be, be smoother, harder to get. The rechicha, I bet kakusha, soft or hard. So in other words, what are you telling me is that you give me a general thing, there are other factors that would go into making it taking a little longer or shorter. The Gemara says, take one that it's a take I'm Rabbi Yitzhak Yosef. I'm Rabbi Yachanan. Kolecha v'yecha v'yatzmai shir. Each one of these tan- the tanoim who gave this shir, they were speaking about their own personal experiences of what Haro was. Their own personal experience. Fred, the Gemara, great question. ben Azai, Bloy Nasev. How can Ben Azai told you about his personal experience? What he wasn't married, so we had a Gemara in, in, in Ksubis, the Gemara or Yevamis. The Gemara tells us that what that Ben, ben Azai was married, but for one night, right? Live Rebbe, the daughter of Rebbe Kiva, and I think he never consummated the marriage even. So how would he know? He was married and he separated. He heard from from Rebbe Akiva, which is interesting because he gave a different shit than Rebbe Akiva. The sight of Hashem is to those who fear Him. So he said that Sayyid Hashem Lareyev is this term where a person can't possibly know, know something unless Hashem goes ahead or Hashem helps them out. So it's a big question over here. The Maritzkiya says the Kasha. We know from the Gemara Bab Metziah is Torah Leba Shemayim. The Torah wasn't Shemayim. The Torah was given to Bas of Adam. So if Rabbi Yaki, if Rabbi Nazai did not know, how could HaKadosh Baruch go ahead and tell him? Why would we be on that? That's, in other words, whatever they say in Shemayim, the Allah is not like that. So what's going on over here? Sora Shem Lareya. The Maritzkiyos does not answer the question. But the Rosh, the, the Rosh quoted in the Shittim Gubetzes says a very interesting shot. When it says Sora Shem Lareya, he's not telling the share. He's not giving him the answer. He's saying, you Ben Azai, had you been married, this is, would have been the share that you would have experienced. Each one of these Tanoim was experiencing the, the share, what they, their life's experience was. Right? The Gemara Ben Azai never got married. So the Gemara is answering, Sayyid Hashem Lareyav. Had Ben Azai got married, he would have said the share was, they lit slay spades up. But it's not coming to tell you that that exactly is the share. It's coming to go tell you what Red Ben Azai would experience had he been married. And therefore, that would answer the Kasha of the Maritz Chiyas, because we're not getting a psak from Shemayim. We're getting, a, we're getting some insight into what the life would have been like for Ben Azai had he got married. But that's, that's the Hezbo. Very good Hezbo. Okay. Remember, Gemara is very, very, uh, all I got, I got it to, how should we say, it's very, I got it, Dick. The rest of the Gemara is, is uh, a lot of Agadita, which again, a lot of Masechta Saita is Diri Agada. Dorish Rabavira. Zimin Amale, sometimes he said it, Nishmei de Rav Ami. The Zimin Amale, Nishmei de Ravasi, and sometimes he said the name of Ravasi. Kol Oichel Lechem, Belein Etilas Yedayim. Anyone who eats Lechem without washing his hands. Now, the, the washing your hands was instituted by Shleim HaMelech, guys. Keep in mind that our hands have a din of a Shnayim Latuma. Our hands have a din of shnayim letuma. Anyone who eats bread without washing his hands is kilu ba alisha zayna. It's like he had relations with alisha zayna. Shenemar, he said kiba ad. And we're getting back to this because of this pasuk that was quoted earlier. Kiba right by by flameoid. Kiba ad isha zayna. But because of isha zayna ad kikalechem. So we're darshaning the end of the pasuk on the beginning of the pasuk because a person is negligent in kikalechem. It's like he's being by Elisha Zayna. So Rav has a problem. Not in the order, he has a problem in the, the word. Ba'ad means because of. Guys, so if, here's the way I would touch the Pasek. Ki ba'ad isha zayna, but because of Nisha Zayna, I have a problem with Ki Kalechem, I'm poor. Ki ba'ad, because of. The way you're dashing is, Ki ba'ad Ki Kalechem, because of Ki Kalechem, that you nichshel and kikalechem, then you have a problem with isha But the ba'ad is going on isha zayna. She seems to be the cause. So the Gemara says, "I'm a rava. Hi ba'ad isha zayna at kikalechem. Ba'ad kikalechem and isha zayna me boyle. Ba'ad means the cause. The way you're dashing is the cause. The kikalechem is causing the isha zayna. But the way the pasuk is written, it's the isha zayna that's causing what the kikalechem. Hello, I'm a rava. If you want to dash in the pasuk, here's the way you have to dash in it. Kol ba'ad isha zayna." Anyone who's with an Isha Zaina, 
in the end, he's going to go ahead and be poor. He's going to be seeking a loaf of bread. Anyone who's mezazel mitilas yadayim is going to leave this world. Okay, so we have the drasha on the first one. Let's look at this. This let's let's do a little. Let's do a, a Rashi and a Taisus on this then. Anyone who's mezazel, what does that mean? Shoichel tamid b'lein mitilas yadayim. Not the not a one time deal, not a two time deal, but a person who constantly is eating uh, without washing his hands. Ne'ekar, he'll be uprooted from the world. The oivr al dibe chachamim, because he's over in the words of the chachamim, chayv misa, the chsev, who pirates gather, yishachen and nachash. Anyone who's pirates gather, anyone who goes ahead and literally knocks down the fence that the chachamim put up, will be bitten by a snake, will die. So this person is being mezalz in the words of the chachamim, who said you should go ahead and wash your hands, right? And if you be mezalz, you can be nekam in oilam. Look at Taisus. Nekam in oilam, heimulari. The Pirish Rashi, the Pirish to Oiver al Dibe Chachamim Chayv Misa, my area the Tilas Yadayim. I feel cold to be Chachamim Nami. In other words, if this is, when it says over here, someone's Mazazel and Tilas Yadayim is Chayv Misa, it's Mashma Dafke in Tilas Yadayim. The way Rashi is explaining it is the cause behind the Tilas Yadayim, which is why, which is, it's been Mazazel Dibe Chachamim. So why limit it to the Tilas Yadayim? Extend it beyond. Any any Issa of the Rabbana would bring you out to, to uh, being oik from the world. The oik kasha, another question. The mm-hmm. amahacha, the oin shay misa, that nekam in oil is mashma, that what, that you're going to die. Who be perak bama isha in the sech the Shabbos, aminon, the oin shay is anios, that the punishment is what, is poverty. So you have two questions. One, according Rashi, why dafke in the tilsi dayim, the chayr could be any din in the Rabbana? And two, why do you say the Oynish is Misa when in fact why it says it's it's a uh, poverty? He washed his hands. What can I do? Okay, so there what does Tysus therefore say? Venira, the zil 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 Guys, Misa, it means to be oika through Aniyas. You know, you be uprooted from the world, not by death, but by poverty. The Koshami Misa Ayyade Nachash. It's worse than what Misa through a snake. The Nekam in the Oilam the Omar, the Sanhedrin, Kalam Mishtatev Shem Shemayim with Avrach and Nekam in the Oilam, right? Different places, Kalam Shem Vikishotar, Nekam in the Oilam, Lav Bechad the Mechisa Ninu, the Aniyas Elamisa Chetufis Oy Mishana. In other words, when it says that kind of oilam, it can mean different things. Sometimes it can mean a quick death, sometimes it can mean a mishunitik death, and sometimes it can mean poverty. So over here, with Dafka stating, Mizalzel, not only Dindra Bona Yichai Misa, no, Mizalzel until you die is meaning Dafka until you die. I mean, Mizalzel in washing your hands for bread, you'll suffer with Aeneas not being able to go ahead and be Nana from the bread. That's the way that's the way Tysus is learning. It says Gemar Vaita. There's a very long Rashi over here, guys. Basically, the following this is Allah Lamaisa. Your hands, where goes on your hands, the Yadayim Lutoma, they're a Shani. A Shani can be Matama Truma. The Gemara in Chulin tells us one of the reasons for the Yadayim is Srach Truma, that the Kahanim should be accustomed to washing their hands, so we do it as well. It's Gemara in the, in the Kalabasa. So now, if you go ahead, and you wash your hands. Why do we wash it twice? Right, one, we wash it twice. The first one takes off the tumma, but the tumma is in the water. The second one takes off the water. Okay. You wash till over here. So what am I worried about? If your hands are down, the water that's over here that became tummy is going to go back and revert on your hands to go ahead right and be metami your hands. So to avoid that, when we wash it till she die, right away, you should go ahead and invert your hands upwards so any water will go down in that direction because this water is tar. Because this is, it's the second washing. So what you're worried about is if you wash the first water that's over here, that's not off yet, it's going to go come back down again and be metamayu. So when you wash your hands, you see people wash their hands and right away they go like this, they dry them and their hands where they keep them upwards. That's by Mayim Mishonim. By Mayim Achroinim, what you're worried about is melech stoimis. They used to have some type of salt on their table that if you would get, enter your eye would cause blindness. 
So to avoid that, you, you want not to put it up because you don't want it coming back on your hands. You keep it down that it should go out off your hands. So that's what the Gemara says over here. You have to put your hands above to ensure that the water doesn't go back on your hands from above your wrist back down onto your onto your hand. But in order to make sure that the 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 meosta goes off your hands. Someone who washes his hands has to lift his hands up in an upward direction. puts the peric. Perhaps the water will go outside. In this case, the joint here is the wrist. The axeru, and it'll return. The atamas yadayim, it'll be matama the hands. Anyone who eats bread without first drying his hands, kiloichel lechem tamei. It's like lechem tamei shnamat. Vayom Hashem, vayom Hashem. Hashem says, make sure I read it correctly. So you see that word, Adav and Moyes, they call Lechem Tamei. Okay, let's begin the Gemara over here. We're going to begin the Gemara about Gaiva. So now the Pasuk says, V'eshes ish nefesh shikara. Now the whole Pasuk over here, we dash in the first part of the Pasuk. It said, Kibad isha zayna at kika lechem. That was the first part of the Pasuk, right? The latter part of the Pasuk is, V'eshes ish, Nefesh Yikara Tatsud. Okay, what does that mean? Says the Gemara. Amr of Kiyah Baraba, Amr of Yechinon. Kol Adam Sheyesh Begasas Ruach. Any person who's a Baal Gaiva, Lebesayf Nichshel Be'eshes Ish. In the end, he's going to be, end up as an adulterer. Shein Amar. It says, Ve'eshes Ish Nefesh Yikara Tatsud. And we dashin that Nefesh HaYikara means a Nefesh that's Yakar, that's literally a splendor, you know, glorified. But over here, we're attaching it as Gaiva. So what's he going to end up? He's going to end up his nefesh yikara tatsud. He's going to end up tatsud by an eshes ish. He's going to go ahead after an eshes ish. Amar Rava, hi loshin nefesh yikara. It says nefesh yikara. It shouldn't say nefesh yikara the way you're attaching it up. Nefesh gavaya. It should say nefesh that's forty mi boile. Void in addition, it says he tatsud mi boile. If the kavan of the pasuk is that this nefesh yikara is going to capture an eshes ish, it has to. It should write he tatsud. It will be captured, but the lashon of pasuk mashma that the aishas ish is going to get him. The, the, according to us, it's he, him going to get her. According to the lashon of the pasuk, is she's going to get him. So how can you explain it the way you explain it? Alama Rav, I'm going to explain it a different way. Kola ba aishas ish. Anyone who goes ahead and is mizana and does not do tshuva, afilu lamit tayra. Even if you learn tayra, the chsiv ba. Why does it say about tayra? Yikarahi mipninim. It's more um, it's more yakar, it's more precious than mat the pinim. Mikoyin gadol, what's the pinim? The koyin gadol shenichnis lefnai lefnim. Who goes pinim? Who goes lefnai lefnim on Yom Kippur? So he to tzudan aladina shel gehenim. This will bring him to go ahead the the the, the to the din of gehenim, right? Even if he's an nefesh yakar, even if he learns tyra, guys, he taught so she will bring him down. When he learns tyra. She, she will bring him down. Any person, again, who's full of himself, it's mamish, it's like he's he's by the Zara. People who are, are so haughty, they, they, they think so much of themselves, they don't think of the Bani Shlailam. The Mela, you're going to be like Oybeda by the Zara because you're so involved in yourself. Narcissistic people, guys, people who involved in themselves, they, they, they serve themselves, they don't serve anybody. So it really does make a lot of sense that what? We find very interesting, guys. Certain kalakoyes, we had Gemara in the Dorim. Kalakoyes, anyone gets angry, kiloi vervoi de zara. And there's anything you're going to do that takes you away from the, keeping your eye on the ball. You're angry, right? So you're focused on yourself. You're about gaiva, you're focused on yourself. Because the source of anger is gaiva. It's very much interrelated. Why do people get angry? Because you, you went ahead and you, I think so much of myself, you, you went ahead and began me. So really, it's very, I think it's very apropos, the Gemara, kalakoyes, kiloi vervoi de zara. And, and over here, anyone's about Gaiva Kilo by the Cesar. It's very kishmak because in both cases, your focus is on yourself and not the Rabbani Shalom. Ksiv Hoch, it says over here by Bal Gaiva, Hayevas Hashem Kol Gvavlev, Hashem abominates anyone who holds himself on high. Ksiv Hosam, it says by the Zara, Hosavi Toyev El Besecha. Don't bring a Toyev into your house, right? Shipping a Toyev into your house. Stay away from the jets. 
Rabbi Yochanan Didei Omar, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan Didei says, Kilu Kafar Be'ikar. It's like more, more than being Oymen Abayi Dezar, like you deny Hashem completely, which is worse. Shinemar, the Rom Levavcha, those who are Rom Levavcha, those who are hold themselves on high, Shachach Des Hashem Lekecha, they'll totally forget about a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Rabbi Chama Bar Chanino Amar, Kilu Bo Al Kol Aroyos. Anyone who's haughty is, is equivalent that he comes on to all Aroyos. How do you know that? Because the Chachet says over here, it's like what you build a bomb to avoid the Why is he considered? I'll take a keep him out. Why does he consider El Bama? Because why he's a Kilu Everyone should have a great day. Enjoy your Pesach cleaning and everything else you're doing.